Hello, we are medical science students from GMIT and we are doing our project on the STI gonorrhea. The first question we asked ourselves is what type of an infection is this? It is a sexually transmitted bacterial infection and this means that the bacteria are spread through sexual contact. Next, we looked at the background. Their family are known as Neisseriaceae, the genus are called Neisseria and the species are known as Neisseria gonorrhea. This is a gram-negative diplococci and it means that it appears as a pink stain under the microscope. Its microscopic morphology displays it as two cocci joined together. In the video here, you can see us drawing the cell wall of the bacteria. This bacterium can be known as aerobic or anaerobic. It actually grows better in anaerobic conditions. In the basic characterization tests, it will show a color change on the oxidase strip from gray to purple. It will also show bubbles in the catalase test. These bacteria cannot move and they cannot form spores. So who does this bacteria infect? It can affect anyone who is sexually active. However, studies have shown that in most cases, 15 to 24 year olds are the most affected. So the transmission sites associated with this bacterium. In males, it can be transmitted through the rectum, the throat their, or their urethra. And in females, it can be contracted through the rectum, the throat, the cervix, or the eyes. It shows symptoms in both sexes that include painful burning sensation when urinating. In males, in females, it can cause a greenish yellow vaginal discharge um, and vaginal bleeding, which is unexplained, especially after intercourse. It also causes abdominal pelvic pain. In males, it can cause penile discharge and it can also cause itching in the infected region. In 2015, the latest report was published by the HPSC. So this showed that for every nine males that got infected, only four females were infected. There was 1,302 cases of the STI in Ireland in 2015. After the symptoms become apparent, the doctor will take a sample of the infected regions, such as the urinal discharge in male and va vaginal discharge in females. The sample will be transported to the lab for diagnosis. The sample will undergo various lab tests. This infection can be treated with a single dose of antibiotics, such as spectinomycin, and they're usually given an injection pill or both. They should wait at least one week before having sexual contact again, but unfortunately certain strains of the antibiotics are now becoming resistant to these. In males, it can lead to infertility problems and it also causes inflammation and infection in the epididymis and the prostate gland. In women, it can cause pelvic inflammatory disease and this can have a knock-on effect to the woman's reproductive organs. In newborns, it can cause pink eye, sepsis, meningitis, arthritis and scalp infections. This infection can also, can also, um, can also affect pregnant women. It can cause the infection to pass on to the baby and it can infect the lining of the uterus. It can, in much more serious results, it, the baby may still die in the womb. Preventions for this bacterium include the use of condoms, antibiotics, injections, contacting everyone you know will reduce the amount of cases. Reducing the amount of sexual partners will also decrease these cases. So thank you very much for watching our video and please subscribe to our channel. Thanks.